So here's an end of summer update on my Butea Aerospatha. And someone was asking if they could grow an 8A. Uh, report, these are reportedly a little bit hardier than um, Odorata. Which I got one over there, big pindo palm. So that big pindo, uh, it saw into uh, the teens the very first winter after I planted it, it had been in the ground um, about three or four months and we got hit with some really nasty weather. Uh, we had two, two and a half days below freezing. And that's the only time I've experienced that weather here. But uh, that one sailed through it totally undamaged. Um, this is a, this is the Aerospatha, which I planted last year. It was a reasonable size, but it's actually getting pretty big. I would say not quite doubled in size. Well, maybe actually it might even it might have doubled in size. It, it's really starting to come along. I, I find that once they kind of at this size, they really start to grow fast. So one this size, I mean, I know it's a different species, but very closely related. So this is you now three and a half feet or so, and that one is probably over 12 and that's four years so from this size to that size in four years um, in a cold climate depending on how cold it gets in the length of the freeze um, anytime you get freezing rain or anything like that snow wet snow i would consider um, maybe not necessarily protecting the whole palm but um, wrapping the center spear i've actually done that on the big one when we get freezing rain, when I know we're going to be getting some freezing rain, I'll do that. You can see this one's pretty big. Right up past the gutters. And uh, quite a bit of trunk forming on that one. So kind of where that new spear is coming out, that's about four feet high. So none of the old boots have fallen off yet. Anyway, thanks for watching.